Good day, investors. This is your number one Everett of Victoria, Vicrest Properties. This is Vicrest Real Estate Talk. I hope you enjoyed last week's topic. So today, oh, we will not be talking long today, very brief. And guess what? Why am I so happy today? I just started Vicrest Garden again. So the topic of today is the reopening of Vicrest Garden. Yes, you know, um, we've been away for some time for the garden uh and i told you in my previous video the reason why it happened so so the, wherever you're watching me from depending on your weather you can grab your hot tea hot coffee or your children and watch this video to the end today the reopening of the Crest garden i'm so excited because ah oh, i've missed it for so long so i'll be showing you the garden before we go before i take you out to outside to show you uh our garden is very portable you know unlike my previous uh garden that was a bit bulky now made it very very portable because you know i'm in a rented apartment like i told you in my previous video that if you're in a rented apartment you have to let the owner of the house know what you want to do and if you are if you are given the permission to go ahead then and if you if you are not given permission and you you want to get another apartment make sure that is your point first thing to ask First of all, before you make your payment, you need to let the owner know, whoever that is in charge, whether the agent, lawyer, or the owner of the house, let them know what you want to do, that you want to have a garden, you want to start a garden, that if they allow it, very well. But if not, you can decide to look for somewhere else that you allow it and you are okay with that place good and fine and if you are giving specification of okay this is how you the the amounts you can do follow follow it so that you have issues so right here why am encouraging this garden is very important number one is reducing food shortage imagine if every nigerians have garden in their house you know what that will be you know what that will do to the society what that will add to the economy it will reduce uh this um it will reduce this food shortage yes so stop interlocking every area in the house stop it i mean stop interlocking your the all your compass stop it save some parts i mean your balcony you can give some space for it for your plant to plant oh you don't like to step on sand eh? okay you can interlock some parts uh on both sides then the little middle parts i mean at the back of your house you can plant there you can beautify it <laughs> yes if you don't want that you can decide to plant in bags or container. Uh, um, we have a container for uh, what do you call it for planting. We have bowls for it. So if you don't, if you want to interlock everywhere, but for me, you don't need to interlock everywhere. Imagine you have vegetables. You plant vegetables. You plant other little things, even a tree. Maybe a tree of um, depending on what you want. You know what that will be to you? You know what you eat in organic, your cause you'll be planting organically. You don't need to use chemical. Like what I do, I use do organic plants. Organic. I don't add any chemical. This is I don't spray anything. So I will encourage you to do that. And if you are rented apartment, nothing stops you from, from planting. All you need to do is first, like what I told you before, just uh, do what I told you so that you won't have issues. So that you won't have what issues. Don't say I did not tell you. Okay. Now, for those who have land and you have not built on it, you you can do you can plant and also have do husbandry. You can do poultry, whatever you want to do. You know what that means. 
you have little of these things if it's your personal house you want to have poultry you don't want it to be big just for your personal con for your personal consumption for your family alone just make it portable and make sure you make sure the place is always tidy so you person smell all around even your neighbor uh, around you won't have person that smell so i will encourage you to start your garden start it now i mean i mean what i said now Stop. come along with me let me take you to my garden to show you my garden so let's go so welcome to vicrest garden like you can see here this uh, we have in this you can see the depths the dried leaves so I'm, where i'm putting it inside is uh soil i'm adding it to the soil i have to make an o in the soil then cover it the essence is that dried as uh, a uh, flower or the dried leaves says as manual so you can see that i is inside this bowl i'm going to cover it with the soil i'll cover it before planting so it serves as manure to the soil and the uh, manure i also added to it so you can see see i'm covering it so that's the essence serves as manure see what i'm doing here be hearing a lot of sun right here because um um where in my new apartment is close to the road is very close to the road and you have church you have uh, different so you'll be hearing some kind of noise that's the, <laughs> the challenge i'm having here but it's a very beautiful and nice environment i i, I still love the, the my apartment so i still love this environment compared to my previous <laughs> environment wow so um yeah so these are the uh, seeds um, um, I have here. Like you can see this very seed here. This is a pumpkin seed, Nigeria pumpkin seed. This seed of this pumpkin seed. And guess how much I got them? 1,000 Naira for this seed seed. Um, the previous time, the last one I got before this, then I got four, four seed for 1,000 Naira. But this time, I got it three for 1,000 Naira. You see, the inflation rate in Nigeria is... It's, it's so alarming that things are just getting so expensive these days so imagine a farmer getting something like this buying this kind of seed and you know before planting taking time for it to grow and uh, and, uh, and having to um water and do all of all the stuff you see that's why the cost of food items the food stuff is so expensive in nigeria these days so um i also got this seed this right here is this right here is fresh pepper seed. Uh, this one said you that the um the leftover seed I had in the, my previous uh, apartment that I got. You have tomato. We have a veggies, a vegetable like um it will do green leaves, green leaves um a, a four uh so. So and this is the leftover this is the leftover ugo seed i had uh that's the pumpkin seed i had um you know this is nigeria pumpkin seed um guess what the reason i bought this 2000 era pumpkin seed i have got i'm not going to plant everything now because uh, you know i'm going to what i have here is a very portable farm uh, garden so a very portable garden so i'm not going to plant everything i might plant two or three seed and the rest guess what i'm going to do with it my edo people, my edo brothers and sisters, you know what this one being now. Uh, you know, uh, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin seed. Uh, you boil it, you cook, you boil it. When you open it and eat it, it's so sweet and yummy. I so if you can give it a try, it's so sweet. This seed you are seeing is very sweet and healthy. Then we used to eat it in Benin. So Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria, still bold. The two boards one, two, three, four, five. With this of scent leaf that we already have here, so I'm not going to do so much. Mm -hmm. Except because I was told that okay, I can use the back side of the house if I want to put something there. But for now, let me just give this a start for now. From this seed, make you can see how it look. This is how you got to plant it. I have to remove this thing. 
and you can see this seed you see this uh face that is that looks plain that look you know it looks like love shape you can see it it looks like a love shape you can see this side and you can see this part is the tip here so when planting how you plant it this tip here you can put this tip here down plant it down this place is where the uh the stem will be coming out from this is the root but if you don't want to plant it this way like the way i position it down like this uh up like this if there is standing straight inside so you can put it to light to sleep so i'm going to plant one so you keep pumpkin seed i'm going to make a hole um cover it Pepe. So I'm in the kitchen. You know, I showed you this, uh, this, um, the Nigeria pumpkin seed. So I told you I'm going to boil some of them. So I'm not adding anything to it. Though. Just water and the seed. Just let it cook. Finally, here is our boiled, uh, cooked ugu seed, our pumpkin seed, and this is the fresh one. See, it's so, it's so, it's so painful that I'm. It's so painful that I'm cooking this, that I couldn't cook this one. You know what this one, this seed would have produced? It's produce a lot that we feed on dress of persons. I, I, I mean it. Just one seed alone, you know what it bears? Just imagine me cooking this. It's just because of this. That's why it's, that's why it's so painful that some of our developers that have uh, that those properties, those land we bought in Ekbe, Ibejuleki, uh, development has not come there yet so that we can start doing our things, so that we can start planting our, having our garden, our house. It's so painful. That's why these are developers they need to wake up. They need to start something that way so that people can start being their own house, to do whatever they want to do in their house. So imagine someone planting these three seeds, three, these, these seeds, you know what it will be here. You know what it, you know the people that it will feed, hundreds of people that it will feed, even thousands. Yes, because it will also be uh, the, the, the fruits again that you will see plants more and more. So, okay, you can see this is the seed inside. You can see it. Wow. Hmm. It's yummy. Cook it and see what I'm enjoying here. Mm. I don't know how to express it. It's so sweet. I hope you love what you saw there. Very portable. Very, very portable. So you can you can start yours. Not nothing too small. No matter how small it is, it will still produce a lot for you. So start yours now. I mean, what did I say? Now. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. 
I would like you to please share with your friends and families. And also, please don't forget to smash the subscription button to subscribe, like, comment. Please comment. Please also share with your friends and family. I want to use this medium to refer you to our other channel at Victoria. Obviously, we will talk on the cost of building materials in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. Finally, I told you in my previous video, some person will be thinking, how is Decrease getting all this information that you talk about things in the Western world and everywhere? Like I told you in my previous video, I have a friend, I have a good friend that is supporting me in doing this, giving me these ideas also. Please, with you, please follow him on Facebook. On the, I will add the link under this uh, caption beneath. Follow the link. You love good music. Oh, you see, you love good music. You, you see it there in, on his Facebook channel and you won't more information educative information in facebook and uh, subscribe to it subscribe follow him you get it there is blink it blink it i don't mind my pronunciation b l e g i t b l e g i t but i will you will see the link in this caption beneath so thank you for watching do have a wonderful sunday and a blessed week ahead thank you